All right, so I mean, a lot of you guys have probably heard the term AI of late, artificial intelligence. Uh, some of you probably have heard the term from, say, movies. And this is probably the first picture of AI um, that comes to your head. Maybe killer robots from the Terminator. Or maybe you've seen videos like this with the Boston Dynamics robots. Um, it, the honest truth is AI is actually something more um, closer to home. So you guys have actually been interacting with AI for a long time now. So every time you go on social media, the Twitter, Facebook, inter Instagram, the reason why you guys are so addicted to it, the reason why it seems to know what you like, especially the TikTok, is because it's essentially learning from your patterns, um, collecting data on you every day. Um, you probably heard the term, the algorithms. So that's essentially what they're talking about. So the thing that powers all of this is something called machine learning, which basically means we're trying to learn from examples. So we collect a lot of data and from that, uh, we create what's called machine learning models that build patterns and extract um, certain patterns from that. So as I said, if you guys have used Amazon, the Netflix, the Twitter, you guys have probably experienced machine learning firsthand. Um, so some other applications, uh, self-driving cars. So cars can actually drive themselves now, if you guys don't know. Um, you have autonomous drones. So maybe in the near future, you guys will probably start seeing packages delivered to your door. And of course, uh, AI can be applied in financial markets, which is actually something I'm working on right now. Um, so you know, predicting movements of the markets to make profit. So let's say you have a lot of companies that are, you know, leading the AI charge. So you have Google DeepMind. Um, so a lot of the big um, research came out of that. So AlphaGo, which is the Go playing AI um, that Google DeepMind created that beat the world champion Lisa Dahl. Um, you have Facebook AI Research Group, you have OpenAI, um, you have Baidu, of course you have Tesla. Uh, you know, Tesla is working on some really cool tech right now. They're self-driving cars. Um, so how do I get into it? So, you know, what's the, what's the best path towards it? So as I said, if you're looking to get into specifically AI research, my advice to you is Start small, start looking at like, you know, tutorials online generally, you know, what is AI, what is machine learning, learn about the different subfields of machine learning. Then you can start getting into like reading the papers. Once you can start understanding like the, the foundational papers, then everything from there is really just building on top of that. So that's kind of how research works. Everybody more or less builds upon previous work. Um, but as I say, if you actually want a career as like a researcher, definitely my best advice to you is to try to get a, either a master's or a PhD in the field. Um, you know, if you can get a internships or residency, yeah, residency programs abroad, you can try applying for jobs. But the, the main thing here is to, to make yourself visible. Like don't think you're just gonna put some stuff on a application or on your resume, um, upload it to say Google DeepMind or um, Facebook, and you know they're just gonna give you a job. You need something that makes you stand out. So um, I would say, you know, think about what could make you stand out. So whether maybe you can write, do some tutorials, um, write some blog posts, and you don't need to be some genius like a lot of these blogs posts and tutorials they're literally copying each other um so like you could literally watch a tutorial and then more or less put your own spin on it um sort of showing what you learn and from there i would say try to see how you can i don't know come up with some projects and like actually work on them um but i would say before you do that um yeah actually do some tutorials Try to understand what has already been done and see if you can do it yourself. And Kaggle, Kaggle is also your best friend. So think of Kaggle as like the hacker rank for machine learning. So you have a bunch of data sets on Kaggle and you have people that actually compete 
um, to build machine learning models. Um, why you should do AI? Well, of course, um, contributing to knowledge. So, you know, AI right now is a very exciting field. Um, there's a lot to be done. There are a lot of open questions, you know, like what is consciousness? Can we recreate consciousness somehow on a machine? Um, you know, are neural networks the best path towards that? So trust me, there's a whole lot more interesting questions we haven't even um, really delved into yet. Um, AI fairness. So that's a big thing. Um, and it's something I've been talking about a lot. It's why I've been pushing for, you know, AI development in, you know, places like the Caribbean and Latin America. Because as I said, AI, it works on data. And if AI is supposed to be this ubiquitous, um, inclusive tool that can help humanity, then it has to work in not just developed countries like the States and Europe, it has to be able to work well in developing countries like the Caribbean, um, Africa, Latin America. And I think for that to be done, we need research to be done in these specific areas. Because there are problems that, you know, these companies, these big tech companies don't even know about that we have that AI can probably solve. Um, I think someone had used AI to detect potholes. Um, so even things like that, that, you know, probably something, you know, first world countries don't necessarily have a problem with, but we have a problem with, um, yeah, I would say that's one big reason why I think there should be a push for AI development out here or locally. Um, but also in terms of like, you know, ethically, so I don't know if you guys have heard about the incident where, um, Google photos were um predicting images of black people as monkeys or you know stuff like that and it's not necessarily like a malicious thing like the AI researchers are like oh we're gonna do something racist today it really just comes down to a lack of data um you know most of the data that they probably had were of you know lighter complexion so even things like that um it comes up a lot and of course, it's cool. I mean, look at this dancing robot right here. Like, who wouldn't want to work on something like that? And yeah, uh, I mentioned this a lot in the presentation. There's, um, it, it's estimated, the market for artificial intelligence is estimated to be worth trillions, trillions and trillions of dollars in the near future. So, uh, you know, think of in the 90s when you had like the, the web and the dot com boom. We're sort of on the cusp of that right now with sort of AI and decentralized technologies. So, yeah, you'd probably want to get on that uh, money train. Um, how can I learn? Well, books, if you're into reading books. If you're not into reading books, YouTube. Um, these are some good YouTube channels. Let's say check out Two Minute Papers, Three Blue, One Brown, uh, Coursera, Udemy. You guys know all of these um course sites because you probably use it before as a you know as computer science students and practitioners 